No, oh, no, this is the second part. I got Andre before, I'm so. Think, what was the first part? You got two. You got two. You got two minutes. Two or three minutes. Okay, Go ahead. Hold up, just saying. What's what was the? What was you the were point? talking about if uh, why do we have the law society? If uh, really you know the law, why do you have to join oh, the I law? The law society. I was going to say that. So, at what point do people have? Um, it's the. How, the I know. It was Andre was talking about. The pro bono, the aspects of doing pro bono work, and there's a certain percentage. I don't know enough about the, these sorts of rules and regulations, but I mean, the question of who, who gets to how much, you know, to do these pro bono cases. It costs are, money. It costs money to do something for free. Yeah. I don't know. There's not too many people that will do it for free. Okay, I mean that that only kind of, that kind of makes sense, right? Mm. We understand that, but why? I mean, the, the idea of the monopoly of the law society. I mean, I mean, if what I don't understand is if you get if you actually study the law, and, ha and ha why can't you give out that there are why can't you just give advice to people? Um, that's why Vaughn went. That's why Vaughn went in jail. I understand that for ten days. But 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 my question is, why did like yeah. what was wrong with that? Now, I, in, in reading some of these articles by Dr. Hughes, this is the question that, that she was raising. You know, at what point is this you know, does the law society restrict? You know, in terms of access to justice issues, I mean, these are these are barriers to. Justice. And so, what's the sense of having rules if you cannot access, you know, ha have a reasonable uh, opportunity? I mean, you're in the system now, but the question is access to representation. Right? This is this is the question. I think. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much trouble this is going to get me into. I'm not in law school. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just having a discussion. Yeah, I know, but I know, I know, I know what you're going to do with this. So I know, <laughs> no, I know where this is go. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Anyway, access to justice. Well, I mean, it's an interesting question. I mean, and, and, look, who, you know, and look who shows up, right? You know? Uh, exactly. <laughs> well, you know what, though? I, I, I put it up there just because uh, I mean, Andre and uh, Jen were there. And actually, you know what was interesting is that two or three more people actually came by. You know, and the whole police and the police. Like, oh, yes. That was their presentation or what they wanted to talk about. The police are crooked. Well, now, hold on. You just got finished saying that there are good Every. Groups. No, there is. Oh, I said know, I, know me, I know maybe two. Okay, two. But two is better. Two out of 200. No, two. Well, I thought it was two out of 100. But, uh, A zero, zero, zero point eight percent. Oh, now, hold on. You, you, you it's were on video. He's not going to admit it. <laughs> well, let's say two. That there were, so we got to at least say that there were some. Two. And apparently that... that it's a result of some of that pressure that got uh, the former chief removed. They're all idiots. Well, now hold on. Ouch. Not, not all of them, because you just said there were at least two good two. ones. Two. Two. Uh, you're not going to mention any names, are you? Names? Yeah, who are no. the good ones? Nah, I won't mention because uh, they'll be discredited by their peers. Ah, that's, a, that's a good point. But they actually, when you say, are you trying to tell me that two percent of the police no. force were able to no. get the chief fired? No, 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 no. That, that, he had no choice. He had to go because uh, he lost control. Once you ask the city... So that means there's more, there was more than two that would have been exerting pressure, or was it from the city? Yeah, but uh, he asked the city, he lost control of the investigation. He, when, when a police chief asks the city for help, you have to resign. There's something wrong. He totally lost control of the situation within the police force. He asked the city for help. Well, what I guess what I'm saying is that if he lost control, it couldn't have been just two police officers. Oh, there was, there was many more. Ah, that's so, so there's more than two. Yeah, there's more than, what is this? There's, there's, more than, there's more than two. What are you, some kind of a psychiatrist no, <laughs> in, no, in disguise? Maybe I should go to law school. So, yeah, so, yeah. But, so, I gotta shut this off, it's not going my way at all. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyway, well, what I'm saying is that I don't understand how two how two police officers could 
constantly losing control of the situation. There must have been more than two, and that's not the point that we're arguing. Well, maybe it is. That's the point I'm arguing. Maybe but. there was more than my issue. Okay. Well, yeah, your issue is a different one. There was, but there was other issues. Absolutely. With the no, with that. Absolutely. There's with no that question. police chief there's that no, he had to go. There's no question. And I'm now sure. he's replaced by his peers, uh, the deputy chief, well, Leanne, Leanne Fitch. Fitch. Yeah, I used to go to school with her. Yeah, but anyway. anyway. But anyway, I, I, same I, thing. Well. You know what? I don't know. I honestly don't know enough about the system. Okay. I know no, she's doing okay. I, I know she's not. Well, I think she's doing fine. So that's all that matters. Is my opinion. Um, I don't. So what's the bottom line here? Well, that's the next. Well, the bottom line is getting back to the whole thing about um, the access to justice and who knows. You know why is it that uh, if you. You're talking about Sally Brooks, who has a very smart girl. Very smart girl, and she's been forced to read an awful lot of. Oh yes, and she educated herself very That's right. good. That's right. So if it's just a matter of, well, you know, education is a, it's one thing to have stacks and stacks of books. It's another <clears> thing to know where to find the information. But if you appear in front, if you appear of a in front of a judge. Mm -hmm and you're not accepted by the New Brunswick Law Society, the judge is going to give you a hard time because you're not one of them. One of them. That, that, that's poss that's I'm, a, I'm a big believer in possibility, probability, predictability. You can put that on there. <laughs> Possib it's possible. There's no editing here. Go it's, ahead. <laughs> oh, yes, there, you know, if there's not, you should get... There's no editing. You should, get, you should find the, no, the software. There's none. There's none. There might be some pieces you want to edit out. I never do. That's okay. why I'm in trouble. Well, good for you. well anyway. <laughs> But this idea of possibility, probably predicament, it's possible. But I actually think that, um, I don't know, I, I guess I still have faith in the, in the, in the system, although I have... You do? Well, again, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when the Court of Appeal turns well, down no, no, my... No, 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 but that's, I'm talking in terms of my own experience. And, I mean, I mean, I was, I was listening, reading something about this, this access to justice stuff. About uh, by was it Beverly McLaughlin? She was she was or she still is a Supreme Court justice. No, no, don't know that. Well, it's obviously it's the top level, right? Yeah. And um, they were. This is a massive issue. This isn't just something that people. Are yeah, but if you're off the street, you're not educated in the issue of uh, justice. You just go by what they say. You know what pisses me off? They say, "Well, do you have a lawyer?" No, you don't. I don't have a lawyer. Then they uh, say, "Here's a lawyer." Then you call. Lawyer says, well, don't tell them anything. Then they say, did you talk to your lawyer? Then they put you in a jail cell for a couple hours. Then they look at the file say, oh, look, he has ADHD, or he's a bipolar. And, oh, he's a smoker. That's better. And then they, he's a smoker. He smokes. He's been in jail for two hours. Oh, yeah, they yeah, get him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they say, hey, buddy, sign the bottom line. And there's conditions. But they don't, you, you don't dare to ask for a lawyer then because you won't get one. And then you break the conditions, then you end up in jail for months and months and months. Yeah, we were, you know, we were talking about... You know, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, I, I think that the, the, the problems of the, with the game, based on this very brief introduction to the issue, mm -hmm. this idea of the monopoly, the monopoly... Of the law society? Of the law, of, well, of the law society's um, restrictions to good legal representation, you know, being a, you know, a function of being in good standing, yeah. and then also it being a function of money, and not, you know, just because a person does not have boatloads of cash, doesn't mean that they should not be represented. Listen, I wasn't saying, John, make a long story short, all six, I was arrested, sure. okay? And then I was I showed up in court. Make a long story short. I should be showing you. I should be I showing show, you. I showed up in court. <laughs> I didn't know anything. He asked me, "How do you plead?" I said, "I don't understand why I'm here." It was Judge uh, McCarroll. And then suddenly he said, "Did somebody talk to you?" No. So uh, duty counsel talked to me and told me, "I'm charged with obstruction. I don't have the right to a lawyer." Because it's a summary conviction. You're not going to go to jail. Oh, okay. You're going to be found guilty. You're going to be on probation. Yeah. But there's a secret. If you break the probation, yeah. then, then, you can then, then you go to jail. Yeah. So at the end, somebody stepped forward from the street. Yeah. We caught the cops 
lying on the stand and I was acquitted. I was found not guilty. But if it wasn't for him, I would have been forced to plead guilty. Oh, I understand. And that's going on a lot. Oh, I know, I know. A lot. Oh, I believe you, I believe you. And that's where the system, excuse me, it's a blog, it's fucked up. Simple as that. Well, no, I, I, I agree. I, I, this, this idea of the different types of you know, the summary, the summary convictions, or there's different types of. Like, I don't know enough about this, obviously, and this is why I'm kind of curious about all this stuff. And I'm kind of finding myself being intrigued, shall we say? This is better than a than a who's that guy, the, the former lawyer that writes all the books there, Michael Crichton or whatever. Anyway, don't read books. Well, anyway. <laughs> Well, that's gonna make it tough. To Just read blogs. It's gonna make the. It's gonna, well, you know what though? This is what's interesting. I, I, you, I might encourage you to, only, to, to be able to educate yourself more. I mean, it's one thing to rely on Sally. I mean, it's apparently she's, you know, she's. Oh, she's smart. Yeah, she's smart. But, but I, you're a smart guy too. No, I'm not. I'm not intelligent enough to uh, read. To read this yeah. and really, really treasure it, I couldn't well, do it. You know, you know what? Actually, I was showing this to a guy. I was showing some. I was showing this very initial article of, on legal activism, and uh, the guy that read it, he says, "Holy smokes! Who, who, no offense, Juan. <laughs> whoever wrote, whoever wrote that, uh, really has a difficult time." making themselves understood yeah. or did they write it in a way that was intentionally I hear that all the time about me my god well, maybe I, I don't know but but what I what I not say nothing yet. what I found interesting about this uh, the, <laughs> I mean it, it's 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 uh, not an easy thing to to write this stuff down so the bottom line is we're screwed no that's not no no I think it's uh, I think it's uh I think if, if we expect things to be done tomorrow, we're going to be disappointed. It's going to take some time. Okay. It's going to take some time. Final in a, in a lot, In a lot of effort. That was fun. Thank you very much. Thanks. No problem, Charles.